Gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. There were more of us. Dad, get him. Yes. Oh, it's a shame. Lee! Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's up? Would you get that off his face? My hands are full here. Thank you. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Please. I'm gonna go get Kenny. Hold on tight in case the train stops fast. I'm gonna get this train stopped right quick. Stopping the train. Stay put. Okay. Stop the train. Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? Your son's blood. Get out of here, Lee. You know he's dying. Nobody knows shit. He'll be fine. He won't be. He's going, Kenny. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. This isn't about Doug. It's not about my son dying. What the hell do you know? You're not my friend. I don't hate you. You sure as shit haven't done anything for me. How many sons are you going to let die? Shut your mouth! Just leave me the fuck alone! I don't need you, and Doc doesn't need you! You don't even have a child! You don't know what this is like, you fucker! You're not helping my family! You're not helping Clementine! You're not helping anybody! I fucking hate you, Lee. Do you hear me? I... I don't know what to do. I gotta stop the train. It's... I think it's time. The boy's been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. Take as long as you need. There ain't no time left to take. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if... what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, 
that he may not turn is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cap. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. We can just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No. It should be a parent. No parent should have to do something like this. He's right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest so Clementine doesn't have to see? Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. is dying. I know. What are you doing? I'm gonna make sure he's okay. But how? He's bitten. By making sure he doesn't come back. Oh. Look, Clem. Things are... What the? No! Ben, take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine. Cat! Cat! Gotcha! She could. She. 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 Oh, 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 fuck! Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it.
understand what happened? Yes. Okay. What do you think is about? What Chuck said. What Chuck said? That what happened to Duck would happen to me. The fuck he did? I swear. Sorry. I really took some sense into it. Don't be mad. Hey. How you doing? Say it to me, asshole, what you said to my girl. Excuse me, son. Telling the little girl she's gonna die. Wanna scare people, scare me. Fucker. Okie dokie. She's gonna die. Son of a bitch. How is that? How about I throw your sorry ass off this fucking train? Now we're both scared. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. But y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna... What do you know? I'll tell you, as long as you don't toss me over the rail. I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? We find a boat. You think that's a new idea? You got even the foggiest idea about where you're gonna find one of those. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. Like a gun. Are you kidding me? What, she's too young to handle one? There ain't too young. Not anymore. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. You ain't strong or smart, you're alive. Look at her hair. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun, because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job, but too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. The plan? A haircut and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. You're homeless then? Eh, suppose. I've had homes here and there, and they just don't work out. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Got any? No. Darn. I shot the kid, you know? I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. Got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there about whether or not you folks want company. Be safe up here. You betcha. <laughs> 